get in a little bit of a construction of the paved drain system here, about uh, six, seven minutes of this, and uh, sequence on a, on a paved drain on a parking lot, very easy. What we'd like to see is the paved drain be installed first, and then asphalt or concrete pave up against the paved drain. Uh, makes it very easy to do, and especially on when you're talking about city streets. So this is a project uh, that we're going over in Indiana, uh, base prep being, being done with the open graded aggregate, Compact, compact, compact. You gotta get this stuff compacted. It's a big uh, plate compactor on the left-hand side, uh, pounding that rock into place. There's a lot of contractors out there that will tell you that open graded aggregate cannot be compacted. They're patently wrong. It can be compacted uh, quite easily, and uh, we're gonna recommend or require that on every job. Right-hand side of the is the project where you can see the geo grid that was extended past the uh, the paved drain there. Contractor had every intention of coming back in and cutting that off uh, prior to the asphalt being placed on that. Didn't get around to it, but what it ended up doing is it ended up tying everything together, and it was uh, it was quite the uh, quite the way to go about it. So, tip of the cap to the asphalt installer there as he was going along with the machine, going right next to the right next to the paved drain. You can see the asphalt being. Uh, uh, tied into the grid right on top of that and the roller machine going right next to it. Now the way this was installed uh, for future milling purposes is that that last outer row of block is considered to be somewhat sacrificial. If a block or two gets damaged or hit with equipment, uh, it can very easily be popped out and, and a new one put back into place uh, for this municipality. The Going around and cutting around openings and things and traditional infrastructure, there's a lot of new rules out there that came out with silica sands and cutting and dust and all of that, and we were cognizant of that. What paved drain can do in, uh, versus anything else is it is it's really its own form. And you can see the size of the paved drain uh, blocks here. They're almost six inches thick. Put a little expansion joint on there. Going in and cutting a block to fit around a manhole or an opening like you see here is just very, very tough to do. And it's much easier to just cut square straight or have these pieces supplied by a paved drain, put a little expansion joint in and pour. Uh, it's a really very simple way uh, to get around that, uh, those issues. Minimal block cutting is what we're, what we're looking for on there. And the other thing we want to point out on this is there's no ribbon curbs on this. A lot of the ribbon curbs that are out there tend to cause a lot of problems in our opinion. Uh, the uh, ribbon curbs have been able to get away from them just because they are expensive anywhere from 11 to 20 some dollars per linear foot depending on your how it's designed, but we can get away from that. And also you're, you're seeing some aprons on, the, uh, on the, the projects on the left side of the, the screen and on the lower right hand picture is another project being done where it's actually had gutter pans installed on this. Now that gutter pan was installed uh, not for water, but it was installed for snowplow blades. That's where the snowplow blades rest uh, as they're going along plowing that. The pictures in the, with the red paved drain blocks on the sides, uh, that there is no gutter pan on that because paved drain is the only inlet on that, on that city street. Uh, this project on the, uh, with the red paved drain is, is called Brown Street in Lafayette, Indiana. This project goes on for about seven or eight blocks on each side of it. It's now been installed for, I believe, four years, and they are now doing phase four, five, and six uh, of this. It's worked so well for them. Other applications around the country, this one's a residential area in Richmond, Virginia. And if you want to make your uh, uh, landowner happy, tell them they can get rid of their detention pond if they install paved drain and put more storage sheds in, as we saw uh, on, on this picture on the right. And then lower right-hand corner is a marina in uh, upstate New York. Other unique projects. Project on the left is a, is a project in uh, Wisconsin. And unique to this project, going around this curve, they never cut a block. There's enough articulation, according in effect, if you, if you will, in the paved drain block that can go all the way around this turn. Picture on the upper right-hand corner is a, is a school bus roundabout installed on a 7.5% slope. Full disclosure on that, we used, we utilized solid blocks on that whole project uh, for fear of the blo blocks tipping or turning into a 7.5% slope on that. The picture in the lower right-hand corner is in Maryland, 
and that is a county highway posted speed limit out there is only is 45 mile an hour i can assure you no one drives only 45 mile an hour on that uh, they tend to go a little faster than that but it will vibrate your steering wheel a little bit and, and tend to slow these vehicles down residential application in the left and then we can work with other infrastructure where we can take a paved drain project drill through those blocks there install the curb stop and then the pound the rebar through the curb stop through the paved drain and down into the open graded aggregate pool deck we promised you this a little earlier no rocks to step on in this project very little rock underneath there uh, that was installed the owner pool owner loves this because the rocks are not getting dragged into the into the pool and hence he has to have to clean it and other installations the project on the left here is another one in wisconsin and then a lot of installations you'll see the pay drains installed in the parking stalls this the county engineer had to reverse that because of the buildings uh, next to the stalls were quite old and they did not want any infiltration going near these buildings and for fear of getting into the basements so they moved the pay drain to the middle I'm required by state law to show you a Harley Davidson and uh, hopefully everybody will recognize we're doing that. And uh, this is why this is key is because a kickstand in traditional asphalt can sink in in a hot summer day. And obviously that is not going to happen on a paved drain and another project down in, I believe this one was in Lincoln, Nebraska. Alleyway project in Illinois. Unique to this is, uh, is the installation of it where we put concrete on both sides. Very challenging for a contractor to pour this perfectly straight. I actually went in and cut about a half inch off of one side of it to get it nice and straight so they didn't have to utilize any rock uh, to, to spread the gap between there. Very neat, neat application at National Arboretum in Washington, D.C. as a sidewalk. Another one in Baltimore, state of Hawaii has a several of these projects uh, going forward uh, in 2020. And we do manufacturing colors. Our most popular color by far is traditional gray. Second most popular color is charcoal. And we color all the way through the blocks. So if a block is chipped, it's, it, it's, it doesn't come glaring through there. Charcoal is a great color, adds about a dollar a square foot to the cost. Uh, but uh, it helps cut, hide all the dirt and oil and everything else that gets dripped and dropped into this, these systems. And some other projects around the country. Uh, some of these jobs are done in Florida. Uh, colored block of the gold nature in Melbourne and another one in the lower left-hand corner uh, in Florida where they went with a red, white, and blue type of, uh, of, of pay drain projects. And Chick-fil-A in the lower right-hand corner where we've done about a half dozen Chick-fil-A's across the southeast. Another, uh, what we do on every project is we do a, a, a layout on each and every job. So we know exactly how many solid blocks, arch blocks, half blocks uh, we are going to be supplying on this project. Keeps everybody in line in terms of shipping and helps out the contractor, manufacturer, everybody all along the whole process. This is the project in uh, Jefferson Street, this exact project. Unique to this job was the uh, worry by the city engineer, uh, then city engineer Mary Kreit, of a sanctioned bicycle road race. Uh, that was probably her biggest issue or worry, not the infiltration, not the maintenance, was this sanctioned bicycle road race riding right over the top of the paved drain. Uh, she was petrified of a huge pileup and what she personally verified, the racers experienced no ill effects from riding on the paved drain system. What it did for us is we can manufacture a green paved drain block. A lot, of, a lot of you have probably seen the green paint that gets installed in a, in a bike path that becomes very slick and quite frankly doesn't work very well when it comes sticking to asphalt. Uh, we can make these green blocks. It is one of the more expensive paved drain blocks to make just because uh, green, is a, a green and blue are two very challenging colors to make, but we can do this. I wanna show you just uh, Working across, rolling across this, uh, we told this gentleman we'd make him famous by putting him in our presentations and on YouTube. We even bought him a cup of coffee there. You can see the proof in the stroller. And uh, you can see him dry, walking up with his grandchildren and they're not being bounced all, all over the place as he walks up, turns around and uh, comes back the other way. He was very fascinated with the whole thing. Logo blocks, uh, these are not tiny little small logo blocks. These are big, you're getting one square foot. 
Uh, we've had we've had uh, groups that have charged a thousand, twelve hundred, fifteen hundred dollars per block, and and used them as fundraisers, as we were charging anywhere from seventy five to three hundred fifty dollars per block, depending on how much artwork went into it. It is also ADA compliant, and uh, we've done three and a half million square feet around the country. And our information and documentation is uh, shown on the screen. If you have our uh, email addresses and like to contact us directly, we'd be happy to uh, uh, reach out to you and uh, get you a, a lot of information on this. I'd like to thank uh, Chris Foley uh, for participating in this. It has uh, really brought a unique perspective to Pave Drain and what we can do for you and your clients out there. So with that, we will sign off and thank you.